Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be working with this uh, printable by His Palette. Kimberly has done such a gorgeous job as usual with all of her printables. It's just all kinds of pretty and you don't need much to do with it. Um, it is the focus point that you need through and through. So I'm taking some Midnight Blue in Deco Art Americana acrylic paint. This paint uh, I love particularly because it has a matte finish, um, which means that writing over top of it is very easy and it blends quite well. It's very opaque um, and this specific Midnight Blue has got like, I don't know, it's just such a deep, rich color. Um, and so I really enjoyed just covering my entire page with it. So I'm doing very monochromatic color scheme here. Um, absolutely just one color, which is this midnight blue. Um, and just using a flat brush in the size 12 to apply it over my page. This is the soft grip from Faber-Castell. It's my go-to flat brush when it comes to acrylic paints. Alrighty, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, give it a minute to dry. And then while that dries, I'm grabbing my ABT uh, dual brush markers by Tombow and I'm scribbling it on a Tombow blending palette. It's a small little card that you get with some of these sets. Um, and I'm using a Tombow aqua brush to then pick up that pigment from that little blending palette and then just applying it to the leaves on this um, particular cutout from the printable. I just want to kind of do a few little highlight colors. I don't want to color the picture. I love the black and white. I really uh, think that it's very effective in the picture that it gives. And so I'm really just taking that uh, green from that ABT marker and picking it up ever so slightly with this aqua brush and then coloring the, the leaves. Obviously using the bulk of the pigment in the center of the leaf where there's already shadows done with my inkjet printer. So the inkjet black does kind of sort of bleed but there's not enough water for it to really uh, smush all over. So just the effect I want, uh, nothing major. There is a little bit of white space that my brother scan and cut did not cut out, um, which is just absolutely fine with me. So I'm just taking my craft knife and cutting that little piece out. It's not a train smash if you leave it there. It's just I would have known that I wanted the blue to come through that uh, little spot there. So there's that. Using my trusty Tombow mono liquid glue or multi liquid glue. Um, this is a white glue as it comes out, very sticky when it dries, and it does dry clear. And then I'm taking some Olba glue, which is a dimensional glue. So it's a very thick uh, liquid glue that dries in dimension. So if I don't stick this down and flatten it onto the surface, it'll have the same effect as what foam tape will have when it dries in that the little butterfly that I added on the top then does not uh, go flat onto the picture at the bottom, if that makes any sense. So there you go, I've got my layout all ready to add words and I'm going to use my Creative Retreat white and this is a chalk ink um, and I'm going to use a Creative Retreat alpha stamp to stamp out the words. I am working in Isaiah, Isaiah 65 and the word is, um, behold, I am creating a new heaven and a new earth. You should not remember the former things um, and nor should it come to mind. And so I'm going to, my focus is this new, the word new. Um, and that's what the butterfly made me think of is the newness of life and the way that God cre creates new things for us. Um, and that we should not be living in the past the whole time and that it shouldn't even come to mind. So I wanted to stamp out this word new um, with, with the alpha stamp, stamps and then I'll use a white gel pen to just write the rest. And I use a car chamois to just clean my stamps off after I use it. I store it in a little container, um, semi-moist, 
so that it doesn't go hard and brittle and then I just use that chamois to clean my stamps with quick and easy. When using a gel pen I use the Sakura Jelly Roll in a size 10. You are going to be upset if you use anything smaller than a size 10 because it is not as juicy and does not um, write as well I find on other surfaces. So I'm going to use that same chalk ink and just stamp out my date on this little layout and I am going to just add a little bit of bling using some of my fine tech paints uh, watercolor pa paints I bought these in singles from Art Savings Club and so I'm just going to take that single in a like teal blue and just add a little bit to some areas on the butterfly's wings using that aqua brush just squirt out a little bit of water pick it up and um, there you go adding some little bit of bling these fine tech watercolors are incredibly shimmery so I just love that shimmer that it adds to the to the butterfly wing and then I'm going to add a little bit to the body as well there you go so I just store my paints in this little tin um, it doesn't obviously can't dry out it's it's watercolor paint in a pan form so it's supposed to be dry um, and again I just take this uh, Dr. P.H. Martin bleed proof white, white ink to then add some splatters to the page because splatters just make everything complete <laughs> and so there's that and I really love the, the, the idea behind this page of it being a new heaven and a new earth and this is an Old Testament prophecy that is fulfilled in the New Testament and I can't wait to see what God has prepared for us and not remember the old things anymore. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.